still the mind smiles at its own rebellions, knowing all the while that civilization and other evils that make humanity ridiculous remain beautiful in the whole fabric, excesses that balance each other like the paired wings of a flying bird. Misery and riches, civilization and squalid savagery, mass war and the odor of unmanly peace, tragic flourishes above and below the normal of life. In order to value this fretful time, it is necessary to remember our norm, the unaltered passions, the same colored wings of imagination, that the crowd clips in lonely places new grown. The unchanged lives of herdsmen and mountain farms, where men are few and few tools, a few weapons, and their dawns are beautiful. From here for normal one sees both ways, and listens to the splendor of God, the exact poet, the sonorous antistrophe of desolation to the strophe multitude. Crumbs are the loaf. If one could tell them what's clearly seen, they'd not understand. If they understood, they would not believe. If they understood and believed, they'd say, Hater of man, annihilating with a sterile, enormous splendor our lives. Where are our lives? A little chilled, perhaps, but not hurt. But it's quite true. The invulnerable love is not bought for nothing. It is better, no doubt, to give crumbs than the loaf. Make fables again. Tell people not to fear death. Toughen their bones, if possible, with bitter fab fables not to fear life. And one's own. Not to have pity too much. For it seems compassion sticks longer than the other colors in this bleaching cloth. 